Hey everybody, what's up? It's Cooper here, and this is the official first part of my 100th pickup video, and I'm so excited to be doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed the intro sketch kind of thing. Um, I know it was kind of a troll on you guys, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so, before I get into the actual pickups, I just need to mention a few things. Um, first off, this is going to be in parts because there's so much stuff. The boxes that you saw in that little sketch is not even everything that I'm showing you. And all those boxes were full. They actually did have all the stuff in it. There's more that I didn't have in boxes that I'm going to be showing you throughout this mini uh, one pickup video series. And also, there are a lot of people that I'm going to need to thank and stuff like that. So, um, those will all be coming um, kind of when, like when you would imagine they would. So, um, like I said, this is going to be the official part one. It's going to be called part two, but it's the first part where you're actually going to be seeing pickups. And um, I also want to thank everyone who's subscribed to my channel and who's been commenting and liking and, you know, talking with me and everything. And uh, I just passed, I think, I think right now, at the moment of recording this video, I'm at 1,105 subscribers, which is insane. So I just want to thank you guys all. Um, everyone, even if you don't comment or anything, you can just watch my videos. I really hope you enjoy them, and I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. This is going to be probably the biggest video game pickup video ever uploaded to YouTube, and I think I can honestly say that. I've never seen anyone pick up this much stuff in one video. and. It's awesome that it just happened to coincide with my 100th pickup video, so it's kind of like a big special extravaganza kind of thing. I know I've been talking about it for a while and posting on forums and everything and, you know, uh, replying to comments about it and everything. So I hope you guys are really excited to finally get to see this, and I'm really excited to be doing it, so let's start. So the f for this video, for this part of it, the stuff that I'm going to be showing you is all the stuff that I've picked up locally, which is not even scratching the surface. But I thought I'd start out with this because the stuff that I got mailed to me is honestly a lot cooler and a lot more fun to see. So I thought I'd start out with the local stuff first. And like the stuff that I have to show you that I got locally is not, is not dumb stuff. Like I got some really awesome stuff and I can't believe that it just happened to uh, be found at the same time that I was getting all the other stuff mailed to me. So. Uh, like always, I'm going to start with the least exciting and go to the most exciting at the end. So, first up, uh, have this box here. And this is a Craigslist deal that I did. And uh, there was a guy who posted a Craigslist ad in my area for an original Xbox bundle. And um, I, he was asking like 50 bucks, and I got him down to like 35. And then um, I was meeting him up the road, so I rode up there, I asked him to bring anything else he had for sale as well, so um, I did end up getting something else as well. Um, I guess I'll show these first. There are two of the original fat Xbox controllers. I guess I'll just set this stuff on the ground. And then one of the smaller versions, which I like better. Um, with uh, both cables, so you can see those, and then it also came with a Nintendo GameCube, and um, it's obviously a black one, it's missing one of the ports on the bottom, um, it's in good shape though, and it came with an official memory card in there, which is cool, I keep all those that I get that are official. Um, the GameCube came with both of its cords and also with one matching controller in really good condition, which is very cool. And the whole, the whole GameCube bundle right there, there was no games with it, but for the whole GameCube and everything, that was only $5. So I couldn't really pass that up, especially since I had the memory card. But um, here is the Xbox, and it's in decent shape. Um, I haven't tested it yet, just because for whatever reason I haven't, but um, I'm sure it works, and um, the reason that I bought the whole bundle was that it came with a bunch of games, and the games are honestly really good, and like I said, I paid 40 for everything, so that was 35 for the Xbox bundle and 5 bucks for the GameCube, 
So let's jump into the games here. First up we have uh, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Greatest Hits. And I think he said, there's two copies of this game in here, and one of them he said doesn't work. But I'm not really worried. Next up we have a case here with some loose discs in it. First up it has a Game Shark disc for PS2 for some reason. Platinum Hits copy of Max Payne and Need for Speed Underground. Not really sure what I'll be doing with those. <clears throat> then we have Silent Hill 2, Restless Dreams. I was kind of hoping this was going to be Black Label, but it's not. But it is complete. Next up we have Need for Speed Underground 2. It's the first Splinter Cell. The Punisher. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, the second copy. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Rainbow Six Three. Doom Three Limited Collector's Edition, which is very cool because I didn't have this one. I have the regular version, but not the Collector's Edition. And then these last three games are the main reason that I bought the whole bundle. And even if it only included these three games, it still would have been a great deal. So, first up, we have the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, and the regular co a regular copy of this game can sell for like maybe 10 bucks at most, but um, the Game of the Year Edition is actually um, way better. Uh, this is my favorite Xbox game, and it includes two new maps on it, very cool, and uh, this one actually goes for about 20 to $25, and that's complete, I think, minus the map. Yeah, there's no map for it, but... Um, very cool game, my favorite Xbox game. Next up, we have the original Fatal Frame. And this one, I mean, the price can fluctuate, but this one on eBay, um, the cheapest buy it now is that I saw were like $35 to $40. And the same pricing for this one, and that's Fatal Frame 2. And I didn't have either of these games, so that's very cool uh, to pick both of these up. Um, kind of more of the expensive Xbox titles out of the way uh, I'm right there so that's very cool so like I said that whole bundle I just showed you is 40 bucks so not bad um, next up let me get this out of the way alright um, next up I've got a huge box here on the floor that I can't pick up because it's full of stuff and it's too heavy but I'm just going to be pulling stuff out of here and showing you things out of here and all the stuff in here came from various locations so first up I got another one of these new Super Mario Bros boxes from Target um, if you ever see these in the toy aisle they usually have like uh, little Mario plushes in them and everything but once they're empty you can just ask if you can have them and they'll give them to you every time I've, this is the second one I've gotten from there I got one from GameStop so you know, I'll always ask for them when I see them um, let's see, I guess I'll show some Game Boy stuff. I got two Game Boy colors here. First we have a lime green and an atomic purple. Both with the battery covers in pretty good condition. Um, I can't tell you exactly where these came from, but I can tell you that they were 10 bucks each. Um, they came from pawn shops, I just don't know which ones. And uh, let's see here. Well, there's more game. There's more Game Boy games in here, but they were sitting on top and they have fallen down in the box. But three of them here: uh, Mega Man Blue Network or Battle Network Blue Three. Sorry about that. Then we have Harvest Moon: Friends of Mineral Town, and then Spirits and Spells. These uh, Game Boy Advance games were $4 each, and there's some more in there, but I'll get to those when I find them. Uh, I got those. Um, I didn't know the value of any of them, but I just picked out a handful of them, hoping that they'd be worth something um, just to sell off. But uh, I got those from a pawn shop where I got a bunch of stuff for an amazing deal, so I didn't, buy, I didn't mind paying $4 each for those. It wasn't a bad deal. Uh, next up, we have a Super Nintendo system. 
besides yellowing, it's in really nice condition. Um, I honestly don't know where that came from. The stuff that I the stuff that I'm showing in this hearth pickup video has been been a work in progress for about four months now. So um, a lot of the stuff I got a while ago, and I've been saving, and it's hard to remember where exactly it came from. But um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, got some Super Nintendo games in here. Try and get them all out. Alright, first up we have Zoop. Then we have Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventure, Adventures of Mickey Mouse. The Chess Master. Uh, the Adventures of Mighty Max. Pitfall, The Mine Adventure, uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Bust Loose, and then we actually have two copies of Super Mario 2 Yoshi's Island, two copies of that, very cool, let me get these out of the way. I uh, got a stack of discs here. Uh, first up, a PS1 game, uh, Sammy Sosa High Heat Baseball 2001. That was a dollar, and it's a it's a one disc game, but it's in one of those double disc cases because it has a thick manual. But I'm um, just another game for the collection. It was only a dollar. Uh, next up, I have a big big stack of disc only games, and these are also a dollar each from the from the, the pawn shop that I told you guys about. And there's some really amazing deals in here, so. First up, we have The Bouncer for PS2. We have Cold Fear for PS2. Tekken Tag Tournament for PS2. And then the rest of these are Wii games. And like I said, they were a dollar each, which is ridiculous. First, we have Wii Sports Resort. Animal Crossing City Folk. Super Mario Galaxy. Pokemon Battle Revolution, Kirby's Epic Yarn, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and then three copies of Wii Sports, which if you don't know these can still sell for 10 to 15 bucks each, so very awesome. All the games here I just got to sell. Um, as you can probably imagine, the amount of money that I put into this video, picking all this stuff up, is the most I've ever spent on video games, like, in, in ever, so, um, I do need to be able to sell as much as I can to hopefully make some of that money back. So, got those Wii games to sell. Let's see. <clears throat> Next up, we have a PlayStation 2 Slim. Uh, pretty good condition. Um, where did I get this? I don't remember exactly where I got this, but I'm pretty sure it was either $14.99 or $19.99, uh, which is a great deal. Uh, working, those can still sell for like $45 to $55 on eBay. Um, let's see. Uh, this one actually came from GameStop, which is kind of weird, but that is Disney Think Fast for the PS2. And this is kind of one of those, like, um, the that Buzz game is one of those kind of knockoffs, but... Um, this is a GameStop, it said new for $15, and I asked if um, it came sealed, and um, obviously it ca came in this box, which isn't sealed, but it did come with all the controllers, uh, there's four of them in there, and the game, which is actually sealed, so that's very cool, it does have a GameStop sticker here, but it is sealed, so 15 bucks for a kind of, I mean, it's not a, it's not a special edition, but definitely not a regular PS2 release, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's kind of a PS2 bundle that I didn't have yet. Um, let's see. We actually have some Genesis games, um, which I picked up from from that same pawn shop. Uh, they were a dollar each. I just got these um, basically to sell. Uh, first up is Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles? Is that what I said? I feel like I said that weird. 
uh, Earthworm Jim. Risk. And Kid Chameleon. They're not they're not rare games by any means, but they're worth about eight bucks each or so. So for a dollar each, not a bad deal. Uh, next up, uh, we have a cord for that Super Nintendo that I showed you. A little adapter for it. Super Nintendo controller. Here's another uh, Game Boy Advance game. Mega Man Zero Two. That was also four dollars, like the other ones. Uh, these are the cords that these are the cords the controller that came with the PS2 Slim, and um, there's a price tag. Twenty-five bucks, not bad. It came with. Let me open this. I actually haven't opened this yet. Um, we have both the cables. We have a Pelican brand wired controller, which is basically garbage. We have a Sony brand wired controller in great condition, and it came with uh, two memory cards, and these are both Sony brand. Very cool. I keep all the memory cards that I get that are first party, because um, as you guys know, I have so many PS2 games, and I, actually, I don't play them all, but you know, I like to have the option to save as many as I can if I ever need to. All right, uh, next up. Actually, before, let me grab the rest of these Game Boy games down here. Uh, Harvest Moon, More Friends of Mineral Town. That was $4, like I said. Then this one, I walked into GameStop, and I found it on the ground. And obviously, they don't keep their DS games on the ground, so I just picked it up, and it became mine. And that is Brain Age for the DS. Not really worth anything. I'm not going to keep it or whatever, I might just um, throw it in for free when I do a trade or something. Um, so next up, uh, the, I think this is maybe the only DVD that I have to show you in the whole entire pickup video, but that is Lost Season 6, and this is the last season, and this is complete great condition, everything's in there, and this was $6 I believe, which is really awesome, maybe it was $8, but still very awesome, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Um, let's see, then we're getting into, actually I think I got all these from the pawn shop, so I can show them all to you at the same time. Um, the pawn shop where I got the Wii games and the Game Boy Advance games, um, the, the lady was nice enough to take me into the back, and I got to look through all the games that hadn't been put out yet, and... She was very cool. She was she was helping me get deals from her boss, and I wasn't even asking for them. Um, she she was already giving giving them to me for two bucks each, um, and then she said, "Do the other pawn shops give you this good of a deal?" And I said, "The one by my house just sold me a bunch of games for a dollar each, which is true for my last video." But um, so she turned to her boss and said, "Hey, he's wondering if we could do a dollar each since since uh, the other one gave him them for a dollar each," and he said, "Sure." And I wasn't even asking for that kind of a deal. I was perfectly comfortable paying two bucks each, but she was just cool enough to help me get an even better deal. So since she said that, I went and picked out a bunch more. So I have a big stack here of PS2, GameCube, and Xbox games. And um, first up is one PlayStation 1 game, and that is Metal Gear Solid. And as you can see, it's in a PS2 style case, but it is the first one. And this is part of a set that is supposed to also have Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, I believe, um, but just got the first one for some reason. It was a dollar, so I thought, why not? Um, a lot of these are filler titles, but there's really... I don't think there's any sports games. So I'm just going to go through them kind of quick, because they're not that interesting. Um, most of them are complete, but some of them are not. And I don't have time to go through and show you all of them, but sorry about that. The uh, the uh, SD card was full, so what I was gonna say is um, all of these games were a dollar each, um, and I think I already covered that. But they were a dollar each, and some of them are complete, some of them are missing the manuals. But I got 
a lot of them to keep, but some of them are to resell. Um, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to go through them kind of quickly because they're not that exciting. First up is SpongeBob SquarePants for Xbox. Star Wars Obi-Wan. SSX3. Uh, some soccer game. NLB Slugfest 2003. I guess there are a few sports games in here. NBA Jam. MLB Slugfest 2004, Street Racing Syndicate, Mission Impossible, Midnight Club 2, Spy Hunter, Op uh, Operation Codena Codename, Codename Kids Next Door Operation Video Game, I don't know how to read. Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix, Dark Summit, Virtual Pool Tournament Edition, Silent Scope Complete. I was really happy to find this one because this is the game for the gun that I found. <coughs> and then two copies of MLB Slugfest 2006. Not sure why I got two of them. Probably a dumb mistake. <coughs> Alright, um, into the PS2 games. Beyond Good and Evil, Jack 3, Jack 2, and I think I already have this one, but it's not a bad title to pick up for a dollar, Guilty Gear X2, Resident Evil Code Veronica, and it would appear to be Black Label, oh wait, never mind, it is Black Label, I'm thinking of a... A different copy. Uh, God of War 2, to disc set. Tack the Great Juju Challenge. Uh, Sly 2, Band of Thieves. And this one's greatest hits, obviously. Like I said, I got, I did get some of these um, to resell. Uh, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Um, that was Greatest Hits, and here's a black label copy of that same game. Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Metal Gear Solid 3. This is actually the one that's supposed to go in the set with Metal Gear Solid 1, but I don't have Metal Gear Solid 2 for that bundle there. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, The Beginning of Destiny. Destroy All Humans, Crash Nitro Cart, Juiced 2, Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, Final Fantasy X, Formula, Formula 1 2001, Top Spin, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, Constantine, Naruto Ultimate Ninja, or Naruto, I don't know how you say it, uh, Ultimate Ninja 3, Ultimate Ninja 4, Oops. Primal, uh, Nicktoons Unite, and the last PS2 game, or the last two PS2 games were very cool to find. The first one is a sealed copy of Devil May Cry. This is factory sealed and black label, um, so very cool. And it says down here, part of a set, not for resale, um, or not for individual return or exchange, so I'm not really sure what kind of set that was supposed to be in, but um, still very cool, another sealed game for the collection. And then this next game is actually pretty rare. Um, I'd never heard of it, but it looked... I mean, I could tell it wasn't going to be, like, just a random common game, so um, I was happy to pick this up for a dollar, and that's Haunting Ground. And I looked this one up, and I think it's going for between, like, 25 and 30 bucks. So, very cool. And then I got three GameCube games. 
first is Go Go Hyper Grind. And these last two are to sell Billy Hatcher and Giant Egg, which I already had. And then Sonic Mega Collection. So those are all of the um, all those games that I got from that pawn shop. And then let me just move these out of the way really quick. And I still actually have a lot more to show you guys just in this one video, so hopefully you guys aren't um, bored yet, but it's only going to get better. So, before I show you this, there's another Game Boy Advance game down here, and that is Sigma Star Saga. Cheap, cheapo game, but I didn't know that when I bought it. Next up is something that I bought from uh, my local uh, my local pawn shop, the one by my school, and this was $29.99, and I think that's a great deal, and that is a complete in-box PlayStation 2 Fat, and this is the online pack, so this comes with the network adapter, which is really awesome. Um, the tape on top here is really messed up, if you can see, but... Um, other than that, uh, the box is in great condition, and everything's in here, and it came with two controllers. I'm not sure if it is supposed to be like that. And then for, I think, either a $1.25 or a $1.50 each, I got two more PS2 memory cards. So, very awesome to get as many memory cards as I can. And like I said, everything's in here, so a uh, very cool bundle to pick up. And for $30, bucks, um, you can not really complain for a boxed PS2, even if it is a fat. <clears throat> Next up is something that I picked up off of Craigslist, and uh, when I showed you those Super Nintendo games, um, the Super Nintendo system and the games earlier, those also came with this, and that is a boxed Super Nintendo Model 2, and this is like a Target exclusive uh, Legend of Zelda pack. That's just a sticker on there, but still pretty cool. The box is really beat up. As you can see, there's like a huge rip here. Um, there's like a cut across here, and the flap is totally destroyed. But um, it is boxed, it is a Model 2, and everything is in here. And yeah, if I can show you guys that. Everything's in there, it's got the Zelda game and everything. So very cool. Um, actually, I don't think there's any paperwork in here, but that would be the only thing missing. But um, for this, with the other system and all the games, I think it was like maybe like $60, which is a pretty good deal considering that a boxed Model 2 Super Nintendo, just a regular one on eBay, the cheapest is like 100 bucks. So, and I haven't, I haven't been able to find one that comes with Zelda, so that's very cool. Uh, next, I, I've got two more boxes of stuff to show you, and it only gets better, so hopefully you guys are still interested. Let me just clear these out of the way really quick. Alright, so... Uh, this first box here is a Craigslist deal that I did. Um, this one was actually a, a, a long time ago, but um, the stuff that's in here is pretty cool. Um, I had someone reply to my wanted ad for video games, um, and they had a couple of the Xbox games that I was looking for, um, which I'm going to show you in a second, but then I, I always ask them if they have anything else, um, just by the off chance that they might have something cool they're trying to get rid of, and he did. He had some really awesome stuff, so, um, show you what he contacted me for originally, and that is Halo and Halo 2. And these are both complete, and they're in pretty good condition. And I think t I got these both for like five bucks. Um, just pretty easy titles to sell. Not worth much, but they are easy to sell. And then I asked him if he had anything else for sale, and he said he had a PAL Nintendo 64 with a bunch of games. And um, obviously I can't play any PAL games here in North America without a PAL system and a converter or you know something like that but um, he told me that most of the games are boxed so I was really happy to find that and 
I'm not really sure if I'm going to be keeping them yet or maybe trying to sell or trade them. But um, as of right now, I'm thinking about keeping them. But there's some really cool stuff in here. And I want to start off by showing you guys the system and the loose games first. And then I'll get into the really awesome stuff. Alright, so first up is the uh, European Nintendo 64 and it's got the expansion pack and it's got, I'm not even sure what kind of cable this is, it's, I have no idea. Um, it's got one of those little adapters on the back and then for all of my North American friends out there, me included, this is what the cord for the PAL N64 looks like, and this is what their plugs look like over there in Europe and Australia, which is pretty weird uh, for me to see. Never seen one before. But, um, yeah, so it comes with all the cords and everything, and this cable as well. But um, I asked him where he had got it because it's kind of weird to see a PAL N64 here, and that was the first time that I really heard um, him speak and he had a British accent and he said he moved here when he was a kid with his parents and brought it over only to find out he couldn't play it so he's had it you know all these years he's older than me so it's just been sitting there so I was fortunate enough to get that from him and then it came with the manual for the system and for the expansion pack and then one more thing I forgot I got from him is the Game Boy Color um, this and the Xbox games are both um, American. And then we have the jumper pack for it. And then uh, it only came with three loose games, which is really cool. First up is WWF No Mercy, Mario Kart 64, and Super Mario 64. And this one came with the instruction booklet. And then the rest of the games are boxed. And I think only maybe one or two of them are actually missing the manuals. But the rest are complete. So, um, so let's start. Hopefully we can do this before the battery dies. First up is F-Zero X. F-1 World Grand Prix 2. I am keeping this one because it, it is a PAL exclusive. WWF No Mercy, Mario Tennis, Pokemon Stadium, Big Box, F1 World Grand Prix, Double O Seven, The World Is Not Enough, Double O Seven, Goldeneye, Banjo Kazooie. Pokemon Snap. And the last one is Pokemon Stadium 2. And a lot of these boxes are in mint condition, like the Pokemon Stadium 2 box. It's really nice. So I was happy to get these. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or what yet, but I'm leaning towards keeping them. So just to be safe, I'm going to cut the video right here and let the camera charge before I pick up with the last box of stuff that I have to show you guys. Okay, so the last box that I have to show you guys is really awesome. So my friend Felix and I went to this new video game store we found called Gamers Inc. That's not too far from my house and it used to be a play and trade, but um, I don't know when they changed their name or when they opened, but it looks fairly new in there. So I picked up some really cool stuff and some stuff that I was really surprised to actually see um, in the wild. Uh, first up, they had like a, a little uh, thing in the middle of the store with a bunch of cheap games that were buy two get one free or buy two yeah buy two get one free and they're super cheap so I just picked up a bunch of games I didn't have they're mostly sports games this is the only one that's not and that's Kinetica for the PS2 um, these are all black label they're all complete that was two dollars then we have NCAA Final Four 2002 that was a dollar uh, then we have NBA Shootout 2004 that was also a dollar NCAA Football 2002, that was a dollar. Madden NFL 08, that was a dollar. And NCAA Final Four 2001, that was also a dollar. So 
Two of those are free. Not a bad deal overall. <clears throat> and then, actually there's two more in here I didn't see. Uh, Triple Play 2002, that was a dollar. And then one GameCube game, NHL Blitz 2003, that was also a dollar. So I guess three of those games in there were free. Uh, next up, um, I already have one of these, and I got this just because I got it as a, at a good deal. Um, but when I got home, I realized it's a box variant, so I'm keeping this one. And that is a Nintendo 64 RF module. And uh, the one that I have doesn't say compatible with Super Nintendo down there. So it's cool to get a box variant of that. And then I picked up two boxed uh, Game Boy Advance games. These were five bucks each. First is The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. And the other one is Tomb Raider Legend. And these are both complete. They feel really light, but they both do have the manuals. And then these last two items of the video are very cool, and I'm really happy to find these. First up is Time Crisis 3 plus uh, with the Gun Con 2, which is very cool. I've been looking to pick up um, all of these for a while. There's there's a few more like uh, Vampire Knight and some other ones, but it's a very cool uh, kind of like big box bundle. You've got the game there, and then some artwork, and then below that is the gun and the cords. So this is very awesome. This is going to look really cool on the shelf, and um, I'm looking forward to picking up the rest of the uh, PS2 Gun Con bundles. And then the last item that I have to show you in this video is a pretty rare N64 game. And it's complete in box, and it's in pretty good condition. And the price wasn't bad either. Um, I saw it when we went in, it was in a glass case. I thought it wasn't for sale because it kind of looked like it was maybe like a display only type of thing. But um, as we were walking out, I saw the price tag on it, and I walked back in and bought it. And that is StarCraft 64. Like I said, this is complete. The box, I mean, you can feel that it has some age to it, like it's not mint, but it is, it's holding its shape really nicely. Uh, there's the instruction manual. And the cartridge. Great condition. And this is $65, which is a pretty decent price for it. Um, I haven't seen it go, for a complete copy, I haven't seen it under like 80 bucks I think um, in the past few months because I've been been looking at it uh, wanting to pick it up and I'm so glad that I finally got it so a really nice addition to my Nintendo 64 collection one of the rarest games that I needed um, so it's one more to check off the list so uh, this ends the first part of this video or the second part however you want to look at it but um, I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely stay tuned um, uh, the next part is going to be, well, obviously the next part is going to be stuff that was shipped to me, but it's going to be a combination of stuff from some YouTubers, stuff from eBay, and stuff from uh, the Nintendo Age forum. So definitely stay on the lookout for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys next time.